Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Should you look back at me on another YouTube video? Even though this is live, I'm gonna treat it like a like a real um video. So today I'm 41 weeks. It's May 19th. Cash is already giving my damn nerves. <laughs> And so basically, I had a non-stress test on me just to monitor him and make sure that, and to make sure that, that, you know, his heartbeat is fine, his fetal kick movements are good and all that stuff. My mom is here. Say hi, mommy. Hey. Yeah. So, so far, all I did... Y'all hear him over there. So far, all I did was um, make sure you guys like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, so far, all I did. Y'all hear him there? So far, all I did is I came in here and they checked my weight and my blood pressure. And now I have to be hooked up to the monitor for 30 minutes it's only been like five and um yeah this is basically to just make sure that he's good healthy etc it's called a triage it's like a pretty little room it's like a peaceful room so when i first when i do finally go into labor this is where I'll come first. They'll check that the 501, which basically means your contractions are five minutes for an hour. Or five, what are they? Or every five minutes. Like one one. Yeah, every five minutes for a minute long for one hour. So 501. And um, yeah, but when I first came in, I was like, she said, I forget what she said. She just said something. I was like, hopefully getting induced today, right? She was like, mm, I don't think so. But I'm not trying to go home without something. There's like a special smoothie that they make. I'm not too sure like what the actual smoothie is, but it's like a special smoothie that they make. And um, or they do like a a fully bowl. I think that's what the correct name of it is, but a bowl, and they put the bowl in you. And it basically like makes you dilate, it like pops your thing or something. It like makes you dilate. I don't know. But um, I'm going to ask them to see if I'm dilated. And hopefully I'm dilated so they can sweep my membranes maybe. I don't know. The top of my vagina really, 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 really fucking hurts. It really hurts. Like, it hurts so bad. Like, guys, okay, so like your vagina is a V, right? And like down here, it's like like down there is where you pee and at the top of here like below like up here where the bone is like up here hurts so bad like it feels like he's taking his head and just smashing it into my bone like it hurts so bad guys so that's what I'm trying to do I'm gonna um try to get the fully full thing <sighs> um if they are trying to do the fully full thing then I'm going to ask thank you guys for all the good loves thank you guys um if they're not trying to do that then I'm going to ask for this one if they're not trying to do that then I'm going to be like how do you feel about the midwives girl because y'all not trying to help me so how do y'all feel about that so This shit is painful as fuck. Yeah, I'm 41 weeks so uncomfortable. I just told her, I just said I'm super uncomfortable. So, um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully he's not sitting on the verb that hurts. Last night, when I was laying down, he was sitting, like, he was, like, kicking my ribs to the point where I was like, 
or my lungs, I don't know, whatever it was, something. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was like, Whoa. I was like, mom, 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 help me up, help me up. I like almost started panicking. So I don't know what to do. It's like, are you like not trying to, are they like trying to like, not let me have a natural birth? Are you trying to push me towards the hospital? Like, what are you trying to do? Cause I'm not trying to go to the hospital, so. I need this movie. I need something. I can't leave here with absolutely nothing. Like, mom. Yeah, like, cause then I would have to go, cause then I would have to wait till 41 weeks and five days and then come back and then they would give me a smoothie or whatever it is. But I don't know if I can go another five days. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not sure that I can go another five days. And I know that sounds like, and then I feel bad because I feel like I'm complaining and a lot of women have it like they're way bigger and way more uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean, mommy? I do know. Like I feel bad because- In your experience is your experience. You can't take that away from yourself. Yeah, but I feel bad because I feel like other women are bigger and they probably, they probably like have had a harder pregnancy maybe. I don't know, but I just feel bad because it's like, I'm so like even laying like this, like, like this one, my vagina bone is on fire. I'm sure. I mean, okay, what's your pillow doing? You want another pillow? Mm mm. It's not gonna do nothing. I don't know. This room is making me sleepy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I low-key want to cry. I do. I'm about to cry. I want him out. It hurts. Like, I can't take it anymore. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully they help me, that's right. I just, I just, like, I be feeling bad, you know what I mean? Because it's like, I know other people have had it worse, like, you know? So it's like, I feel like other people have had it worse. So it's like, who am I to complain? Oh, yeah, and then the reason why it makes sense, guys, that I got stretch marks because I was 36 inches, like my belly was 36 inches last week, and I'm 38 inches now. I'm 38 inches now. So that's why I got a little bit of stretch marks right there, all down there. But one of my supporters um, told me like what to get for stretch marks, and she told me to put it on my baby registry, and she bought it for me. It should be there today. So. Yeah, I know, my fucking bone hurts, like. I don't know. I'm just, my fucking coochie bone hurts so bad. I think that's the thing that like hurts the most is like my bone hurts so bad. I don't know what to do, I'm really about to cry. Mom, why are you not paying attention to me? listening to you. What do you want me to do? Entertain you with a tap dance? But you're not responding to me. You're talking to people. You're not talking I'm to talking me. talking to both of you guys. Oh my gosh. You're making me stressed out. I love you. <sighs> I don't know about it. It's almost like my screen is blank. Is that right? You should probably leave and then come back and fix it. Um, you grew fast this past couple weeks. Don't mm-hmm. worry, those stretch yeah. marks will be nothing once your belly goes down. They're very small. I hope so, because they're just like right there. My belly button ring. So 
all bruised. My belly, my belly is bruised. My belly hole, my belly, my belly went is uh, Your belly hole. I always call it a belly hole. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. so I can remember like you know what I mean like how I was feeling in the morning like and once he comes time passes so quickly mm -hmm. in a blink of an eye it'll be one it, it, and it's insane they keep telling me when I start to have contractions drink water and get in a tub but like they do every single day they do that all the time it doesn't, I'm not doing anything I don't know. Well, follow me if you don't already. Y'all know. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Ginger J. If you're watching this and you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, follow me on TikTok. Everything is I'm Ginger with J. Everything's on Ginger with J. Um, I have other Instagrams, multiple different Instagrams because my Instagram always gets dis disabled. God forbid. But everything will be in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check all those pages out. Follow all them. Follow my son. I'm Cash with a K. I'm just a J. Cash is I'm Cash with a K. And go check that stuff out. And I will come back and update everybody. Yes. Thank you. Stay true. Stay true. Bye, guys.